President Trump's legal team defending his so-called travel ban at the uh, Supreme Court while a different court rules against his attempts to kill the DACA program. Shannon Bream has more from the Supreme Court. The hottest ticket in town is right here at the U.S. Supreme Court today. Crowds waited in line for days to hear oral arguments for and against President Trump's so-called travel ban. This is about a perpetual so problem. Want the president to say, I'm convinced that in six months we're going to have well, a safe world. Well, well, no, Justice Kennedy, that's not our argument. Our argument is here the president is identifying something that is a perennial problem. Our brief says it goes back 100 years. The court seemed mostly divided along ideological lines. Moderate Justice Anthony Kennedy, often seen as the swing vote, had tough questions for both sides. Outside the court, dozens of protesters making their voices heard. The most of that is unconstitutional, it's discriminatory, and it, we hope to see the Supreme Court uphold American values today. Most legal experts agree the court has traditionally deferred to presidents when it comes to issues of national security. If this is based on religion, then the administration has a serious problem. It doesn't sound as though the justices think that. The Supreme Court arguments come shortly after a lower court ordered the reinstatement of the DACA program, which shields millions of illegal immigrants from deportation. But the White House is sticking to its guns, claiming the program is unconstitutional and calling on the Justice Department to appeal the ruling. We've been very clear. We think it's an illegal program, but that's something that the Department of Justice is going to have to handle. The justices also spent a fair amount of time debating whether the president's statements during his campaign and his tweets about Muslim immigrants should be considered when looking at the text of a travel ban 3.0 itself. A decision is expected in late June.